is Mohab and I became an idol. No, actually, I do not. There's one story that has not been shared. I now, if I got to tell you, it's a. Uh, You're not going to have to kill me, are you? <laughs> Because really, I'm not that interested. I want to. Okay. You have to know. Tell me or kill me. (laughs) It's way before he was born. I'll figure that out. Yeah, seriously. We were in a... uh, Israel. 1963. No, is this still in Haifa? No. Where are you now? Before that. Before Haifa. Before that. 1963. Haifa became 1964, August 2nd. So we were back up. Back up. Yes, no, I still (laughs) say. Back up one year prior. I was a, a young man. After service, service meaning doing my duty sure. to the country. Same as men I did. Exactly. And uh, uh, he, he was a paratrooper. I was a par- was paratrooper, a but man. and he was and he was a medic. I was I was just you know your average there. you know person right. <laughs> Soldier person. So I I went back to my roots, which uh, uh, being a young man and a kibbutz, and living a uh, a bachelor life. My friend, my two roommate, two of my best friend, one of them who is a. Uh, deceased already. His name was Gidon Bartu, and the other friend was uh, uh, Nathan Wolf. We were doing what every young man at the kibbutz were doing and summer day and afternoon we were playing backgammon, playing shishbish. And uh, yeah, we were playing chess That was like a yeah, four o'clock in the afternoon, hot summer day in August. And that uh, was my turn to throw the dice. I was throwing the dice, and I had chess bash. mean. I had five, six. Five and six, it's a good move when you play Jack uh, 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 back when you play chess bridge. At the same time, there was a group of girls who were walking down the... Uh, the aisle, go into the uh, dining room to have a uh, supper. And there were three girls walking together. And that was my time to throw the dice. And like I said before, I threw the dice and I had five, six which was Sheshbesh, and I paused. I did make up the move. I froze, and I said to my two closest friends, one end is not a wolf, and the other end is a uh, Gina Bartov, who is deceased. Uh, and I said to both of them, you see these three girls? You see that girl is in the middle? I got to marry that girl.
that was his brother. I never met her before, never knew her. Oh, and I froze and I felt a click. I felt something happening. But they said something spark in you that that what happened. You are a very lucky man. I said that's I thought the girl. I was a lucky man. You are a lucky man. I said that's the girl I got married. First time I saw her, first time I met her, took me a year and a half to follow up on it, and I did. And I came halfway the world. I had to travel all the way to this country Beginning August 2nd, like I said before. Yeah, 64. 1964. I end up August 19, uh, August 19, 1964, when I landed in a uh, Kennedy Airport. And she came to greet me with her mother. And her mother said, Where's Avi? Who's Avi? And she said, that's Avi. And she said, that skinny guy? We have to feed him. That's what I look today. God bless. <laughs> My God, yes! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> when, I landed, when I landed in Kennedy in 19, August 19, 1964, I was 27 inch waist, and I was 5'6". Today, I'm not going to say what I am, because... Today, you're 5'3". <laughs> <laughs> I shrank. <laughs> I put some weight. <laughs> no more 27 inch, but... God bless that woman who wanted to feed you. <laughs> my mother-in-law. She fed me with a good chaplet. <laughs> Every Friday, she made the chaplet, and that's accumulated, and that's <laughs> uh, 45, 49 years later, here I am in Philly, and 311 Poplar, Philadelphia, the birth the birthplace of my grandson and the birthplace of my father, Hi Rosna, I should play some peace, who I respect and I cherish through my, his life and my life. It's the cradle of liberty, and, birthplace and, of the country. I'm back, and this is my only and my son, Menachem, who is having a, uh, my fourth grandchild, which I'm very pleased to uh, share the name. Sela Bernice after my uh, late wife and they, uh, I cannot say any uh, cannot add up anything to uh, life is good and I'm so happy for my son and my daughter-in-law Tamar and my granddaughter Sela Bernice and today tonight is like a night before four weeks 
that uh, when she was born right here on this place and 311 third place popular place popular <laughs> street pop <laughs> street in Philadelphia and myself would name after my father Menachem who helped deliver his daughter my granddaughter celebrates I'm so proud of this I'm so proud of the moment I'm so proud of being part of this family of that generation the connection from the past to the present to the future cut <laughs>